What's up, fellow gamers? Elric Ferris here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys something really interesting. Now, you guys know that Tom Clancy has a whole bunch of his games that have come out. Now, the Ghost Recon Future Soldier is the latest one of the games that has been released. It's really cool, and it actually plays nice, and it actually features DirectX 11 support. So it plays, you know, with DirectX 11 stuff, which I think is nice because all that eye candy, which we all come to like. Now, this game is a little bit different than the others in the series in the way that you control your men. Before, you could actually, it seems like, control each man individually, make him do each different thing you want to do by setting up different priorities. Like a bunch of guys were out there, you could have one guy going this way, one guy going that way. Well, it's not like that in this game. It's a little bit more easy for players to just jump right in and play. But what you can do is you have all kinds of different ways to view the game. When you go on online, it's going to ask you for a name and password. You're going to log on to Uplay, and this is the first screen that you're going to come to. Now we'll show you some guys some game footage of me actually playing the game live, and then we'll show you some Fraps movies. That way you guys get the best of both worlds. So first off, I'm going to go ahead, and for you guys who haven't seen the game, I'll go ahead and begin the first mission and let you guys check some of that out live. All the nice precursor movies you get here. Could have frapped these, but eh, what the hell. Look at the excitement. Okay, now don't get confused, because right here it says to press the any key. There is no any key. It actually means any key. So, you know, I know I'm just being a smile like. Okay, you have a bunch of different modes in the game as well. You have multiplayer mode, you have campaign mode, you have guerrilla mode. Now, guerrilla mode is something totally different on this. It's basically there's a bunch of different guys, like I think it's 50 waves of guys coming at a time, so it's almost kind of like a tower defense, but with your guys, that's a different way to play. I'm actually going to go ahead, I'm going to be playing the campaign, because that's where I start out at. So I'm going to hop back into here, campaign. It's asked me to create a new campaign or autosave. I will go ahead and create a new campaign, just so you folks can see what it looks like in the beginning. So we'll start the new campaign, we'll play it as a veteran, and in we shall go. One of the important things of this game as well is this little F key, because you're going to have these things that you throw out that actually can see a bunch of guys, so detector. It's really interesting. So right now we're in Nicaragua. The game pretty much starts out like you know, you're in a car. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the most, pretty much of like Iron Man. You know, the game starts out, then all of a sudden, kaboom. But oh, we're going to be getting kaboomed here in just a second, too. Once we get kaboomed, we'll go actually into the game. Kaboom! Wow, I guess my kaboom had a powerful thing. I said kaboom and the monitor actually shut off. I better quiet my kaboom. There's some birds out there. I know this is the most exciting of things, but hey, there you go. Boom. And there's our uh, Iron Man moment. Now, this is the thing I was telling you before. You can press the Q button on here and select all of your targets. And you hold the Q button down and it will kill all of the targets. You mark them and shoot them. That wasn't the actual example, but this is the beginning of the game. I thought a lot of folks might want to see the beginning of the game. The graphics are pretty decent. I have no complaints about these graphics whatsoever. Standard WASD keys to move. Now, with this button right here, you can see the different targets. So I'm just shooting in those areas. I can turn that off, get back into the norm of the game. You go to sight, just like any other game, it'll start telling you, kind of like, like Battlefield 3. 
if you go out of the range, it starts telling you, hey, you're out of the range, and then you shall be dead. So that, folks, pretty much is how the game begins. We're going to go in here real quick, and uh, shit's going to hit the fan real quick. Kind of a bomb. Nice little bomb here. Kaboom. We don't even need special effects for this shit. It's going to blow up all on its own. And so pretty much ends, you know, the first mission. We all die, we all get our asses kicked, and then it's all about revenge. And so it ends. That's basically mission one. Pretty much this game says there are no rules. When you're a ghost, you're out to kill. You're out to totally do whatever it takes to kill. As you play further in the game, we're going to show you something about that. You actually become completely invisible with the armor that they give you. It's not actually armor. It's kind of like a defensive measure because you're totally, basically, you know, invisible. We'll have to check that out. Now, before we move further into the game, we actually show the level that I was playing. Let me show you how I have everything set up. Here are all the graphics options, the most important thing that everybody's going to ask. I have everything set to as high as it can be in this game, including DirectX 11, tessellation, global illumination, improved physics, motion blur, parallax mapping, ambient occlusion, volumetric light, shadows, detail, anti-aliasing, and I even locked down V-Sync. Why? I know it locks the graphics down. I could probably show some higher frame rates, but I'm not doing a video card review. I'm just showing you guys the game, so I want to look as best as possible. Let's go back and let's actually jump into the game now and let's see where I was actually playing before. Camo's up. That's two targets. Ready. Target three. Marking number four. Do it. On you. Two marked. Lead repositioning. His history. pretty much hot spot. Now previously we showed you the Fraps movies. That was the level preceding this. Has some guys in a truck moving in. Now let's show you guys what I'm talking about. Q, I've set that guy. Another guy.
throw a grenade out there and kill somebody. Hey, when I talked about a sensor grenade, I'm going to throw a sensor grenade out now. Also, to move from space to space, you just hold down the shift button. It will allow you to go in between spaces. This is probably going to be a really long video, but we just wanted to show you guys a couple of things on here. The game plays really well. The graphics are pretty decent. And it's actually, so far in the campaign, been a pretty fun storyline. Do a lot of running and gunning, and a lot of cool stuff. So anyway, everybody, I've had this game for basically about two days now. I've just started getting into playing it. So far, I like what I've seen. It's got some pretty cool game features. The physics of the game, the way you're playing it and shooting everybody, seems to be nice and fluid. It seems to me that the game's also geared for people that are either totally like a beginner at games, or you can set the levels to extremely, extremely hard. So that way, if you're a beginner player, you just set it on easy. You can go through there, scroll around as a recruit. You can set it as a veteran, go through if you know more, and then set it on the extreme, you know, if you really think you're a badass in the gaming. I like that the game plays with the DirectX 11. I'm glad it's not just a total, utter, just total port, because when they port a game over, usually it's only DirectX 9. At least they've taken some time to put DirectX 11 into this game. So for my first looks, I gotta say, the game's fun, it's got some unique stuff, it plays well, and it's about the same price as all the other games out there. So for my first looks, I got to say, hey, Tom Clancy's new Ghost Recon Future Soldier, overall, it's getting a thumbs up.